Hello and welcome back and we are continuing our look at Thunderbolt to Tenji adapters for NAS and photo video editors out there I know you guys are really curious about getting the most from these adapters with your Thunderbolt systems and being able to edit directly on a NAS. Now we are using the Synology DS3018XS in our previous video we used the brand new 1819 Plus and 8 Bay Business NAS but because that device featured an Intel Atom based CPU once we started adopting 10 GBE, we saw speeds of around four to 500 uh, megabytes per second. So what we're doing this time is we are utilizing a much more powerful NAS. We're utilizing this new six bay that came out midway through this year. And this features an Intel Pentium uh, CPU and that is the Pentium D1508, a dual core 2.2 gigahertz CPU. Now this CPU should in theory give us a lot more oomph. We're going to be utilizing mapped network drive um, setup as before. For those that didn't remember from our previous video, if we right click, go to map network drive. From there, you can set up a network drive very easily, but make sure you set up a shared folder first. Do check out my previous video where I went into a lot more detail there. From here, we've got two map network drives, one for another video, that's one SSD. But for now, we're looking at three Samsung Evo 860 SSDs at 250 gig each and we're going to do a speed test on those using Blackmagic and then AJA testing. We're doing this test using the Sonic Solo 10G adapter and then later on in another video we're going to do exactly the same test but doing a brand mashup with the QNAP adapter, the new QNAP um, T, let's get the name right, the T310G1T. Finally after this we're going to be using an even more powerful QNAP to show better read write speeds and letting you know just how much impact the CPU has. But for now, let's begin the test. We're gonna start with AJA testing first. So let's move over into that. And we're gonna use the RAID 0 test there. So that's the RAID 0 of three SSDs. Now remember, the speeds we got before were about 430, 450. That, uh, that was what that Atom was giving us. So straight away, we are banging in at 600 megs right. And lovely impressive speed boost there. So remember, the 10 GB connection on the NAS and the adapter in the middle haven't changed. This is still a Thunderbolt to 10G adapter. But now the CPU of the NAS has made a vast difference. And that is something to bear in mind here. Because we're seeing some right there above 700 megs. I'm going to be very interested to see what happens when we do this same test with maybe a Ryzen CPU or an i5 or an i7 but we're already seeing impressive speed boosts compared with the previous unit we were using. So we're gonna come out of AJA testing, and now we're gonna move into Black Magic just to show you that it isn't just a fluke. And from there, we are now going to do the test once again with the, oh no, wrong one, it's the one from the previous video, with the RAID 0, and again, let's see what speeds we can get. Now, it's worth mentioning Black Magic, its right tests are always Mm, they end, they're periodic. So what will happen is it will decide the speed, the, the file size, and it will end the write test when it's been finished. Ergo, sometimes the write speeds take a little while to start being true and accurate on Blackmagic. So bottom line, don't worry too much that the speed is gradually growing via Blackmagic. This is just an architectural point of the black magic test software and not an indicator of the ssds because unlike a hard drive they don't spin up so you won't see gradual increases but there you go straight away we're into those 700 meg territory now we're moving into a slightly more complex file you can see that speed will dip ever so slightly for a couple of rotations but again those speeds they're pretty good we're already hitting 720 there right speed in black magic now I'm going to keep this as brief as possible, so I'm going to come out of black magic, and finally, we're going to do just a simple drag and drop speed test of this. So we're going to utilize the same folders and files that we used from the other video, copy those, and then we're going to see all the Windows file transfer speeds are via this adapter. And again, the density of the files will make a difference. So again, because I'm copying from one SSD on this host system will obviously bottleneck be bottlenecked by that SSD. And again, that is an old style Evo drive inside this laptop. If you need to know more, let's go into the system settings, have a quick look. Let's get the details on this system properties. 
and it's an i7 6th gen so it's still a pretty good cpu but it's still one ssd inside there and it's an older style ssd as well but that is it that has been two things we've proven this one about the ease of use of the sonnet solo adapter we'll be doing um, media encoding and video editing tests utilizing these devices later on but in my next test i will be using a qnap with a significantly higher cpu just to see what happens when we use an even better cpu in traditional terms than that pentium um, of course we'll also be doing te this exact same test using the qnap adapter too so do stay tuned for that i hope you found this interesting if you've got any questions about NAS, do let me know in the comments otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time